Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time. You saw it up there. We're in Nevada. We're done at this campground. Gotta move on down the canyon, and we'll end up on uh, in, a, in a forest service campground. It's 10X this evening, this afternoon. some cool stuff in Nevada. So in this video, we're gonna go visit, right now, I am at Lake Mead National Recreation Area. That's from the National Park Service. And if you look around this side, right here, you can see, in the far distance, Lake Mead. Actually, we're staying at a, this is a bad, bad day for Dude RV. We're staying in a private resort. It actually has a swimming pool, a hot tub, and a miniature golf thing. It counts as a resort and we're paying for it. But in this video, we're gonna visit Hoover Dam. My grandfather helped build that. So my grandfather helped build Hoover Dam and that, I, saw, I, I visited when I was a kid, but I wanna see it as an adult. I wanna share it with you. Uh, I'm gonna take Sable, the scooter, and I'm gonna put on the Insta360 and get some footage. Another truck, it's a busy highway. And after that, we're going to visit the Boulder Beach Campground. Now we spent the night there two nights ago, really liked it. Uh, so I'm gonna share that with you. I didn't shoot any footage while I was there, but we'll, we'll look at that. And then, and then I'll show you some of my accommodations. I'll show you where we're parked and whatever else, and whatever else comes along. So let's go see Hoover Dam. Let's go see some Hoover Dam stuff.
There's something else right there. <laughs> I, I, I knew it was gonna be busy. I did, I did, I did. We were just up there on that bridge and you can hardly see those people, they're so small. So as you come down the road, there's a, a parking garage, which is where we are now. If you have handicap plates, you can park for free. Your access, your, your national parks pass doesn't do you any good. So we're gonna go across the dam. We're gonna do a damn ride is what we're gonna do. Hard to believe how low that is. That's an interesting detail. There's a clock on both sides. Wow. We're gonna cross to the down river side of the dam up here. You can see how low the lake is. I mean, that's, that's gonna be a, 100 feet? Easy. Maybe two. Hard to tell from this angle, but it is a long way. Is that a 
hat noch durchregnet. Ne? I don't think they're gonna stop. how small those cars are down there. How'd they get those cars down there anyway? I guess they drove through that tunnel. It's hard to believe we were, we were right up there. So there's a road. That must be how they get the trucks down there from that road. fishing right there. neat place <laughs> I told you the wind was blowing looks like they're about to fall over Now we need to go up there, which means I need to go get the truck. So when the dam was originally constructed, that, that was during some stressful times, right after World War II, and they were, there were some real concerns about terrorism even in that era. If you look right up there, that is a pillbox. There were originally four of those. That's the only one that's been left standing, and that's been rented, stabilized so that it doesn't collapse. So there was actually a plot uncovered. Uh, apparently, there were some agents in Vegas that were planning on blowing up the intake towers for the dam. Yeah, so even even back then, terrorism was a real threat. All right, we're, we're done here. At, well, we've got one more point we're going to stop at down here. One more look at the dam, and then we'll go see a, a campground. It is windy, windy. And there we have it. This is our last look at Hoover Dam. And Lake Mead. It's really hard to, it, the video does not, does not give you scale at all, but if you look right there, there's a boat right in there. 
I don't know how big it is, but from here it's tiny, tiny. All right, let's let's go see a campground. This place is busy too. That whole damn thing we just saw creates this lake, which is desperately low. If you look at the pictures on the placards over there, and you can see the white. That white should be underwater. They've had to move the marina down several times. We're gonna go, we're gonna visit that spot right there. There's a campground there. We were, we were just up there, somewhere up there. Distances are so deceiving here. I don't know how far that is, but it seems to be a very long way. You can't see the people. There's an RV down there by the water and it's, it's tiny. But anyway, if you're looking for a full connection RV site in the vicinity of Hoover Dam, we're in one. This is the RV park. We're actually gonna go to the campground next door. But this is, I think it's probably a, a, a partnership, private vendor, public land. As you can see, very flat concrete pads, full connection, 50 amp and sewer with a view of Lake Mead. Now, I don't know what it costs to camp here. I would imagine it's not cheap. It's probably gonna be more than 50 per site. If you don't need connections, if all you need is a dump station, this is Boulder Beach Campground. This is a public campground. We spent the night here the other night. We got we got into the Vegas area a little bit early, and so we just rolled in here, booked us a site. Now we are scheduled to camp here, but I don't know that we're gonna we're gonna have that opportunity. You have a rest. Those are flushing toilets. There's no showers. There's some of the sites have water. Some do not. They are flat. You don't need leveling jacks at all. They have an amphitheater. I think that's about it. And kind of a view of the lake. Now to get in here, you do have to either have some kind of national parks pass or pay $20 a car to get in if you have an access pass it doesn't cost anything to come in and and with that access pass it would it would cost you about ten dollars a night to camp here it without the pass you're looking at twenty dollars for the site and twenty five dollars to get in it's worth getting the pass all right one more look at boulder beach campground Boulder Beach North. You cannot have you cannot have any fun here. I was wrong. There is no camping here. There's no dogs. There's no fish. There's no boat. There's no car. There's no tent. There's no fire. All you can do here is swim. And I saw RVs parked down here last when we were camping at Boulder Beach the other evening. I, I, I saw RVs parked down here all night. All right, I got my toes wet. A lot of wind on this lake. All right, let's, let's go see what else we can find. Condos in the sky. Kind of like ghost riders. All right, this is our campsite. We're pretty, pretty, uh, pretty snug, but we don't have one over on this side. Which I guess it's, you know, we're at like $85 a night for this site. We're at, where are we? 
We're at uh, the Oasis RV Resort, Las Vegas. There's a shower and a laundry facility. There's several of those scattered throughout the property. Of course, you've got full connections, hookups. Good morning from Las Vegas, Nevada. Oasis RV Resort. So, for the last week, listening to the planes take off. Hearing emergency sirens all day, throughout the day. This is a busy place. The turnover here is just amazing. RVs lined up to get in and on their way out. It's literally like camping at the RV show. Different, different RV every, every time you turn around. And there's a lot of RVs in this park. I think because the there's a Formula One race this weekend, or starting this weekend, uh, it looks like they're going to be full up. So here's here's my thoughts on the on the on this resort. It's a it's a great waypoint stop, but it's expensive. Uh, if you need a couple play, a couple nights in Vegas to do your thing, this is a great secure place to do it. Uh, they got security 24 hours a day patrolling they pick up the trash two three times a day they clean the bathrooms a couple times a day you've got pool and a hot tub and a miniature golf and you're just down the road from the strip and all that being said if you're into state park camping this place is crowded there's a lot of people here the dog our dogs are have have finally and, and, he, and Tex is still, he's, he's still not comfortable with it. He's, he's not nearly as freaked out as he was when we first got here. Uh, but it has not been a, a fun visit for him. Yeah, yep, he's about conventioned out. And I'm ready to get back out and see something interesting. So we're done here. If you've not already, you really want to click on that subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I sure appreciate it. I would thank you for this. Well, thank you for this. Yeah, it's an experience. Not a, not necessarily a bad one, but a, not necessarily a good one. It's just, it is what it is. I've met some interesting people. We're done. I'm rambling. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I sure appreciate you. And for our patrons, you guys are awesome. We really appreciate your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?